Hey guys, back doing another dungeon run. Uh, we're doing crypts this time. Uh, this is a very, very short dungeon. Uh, ooh. Nice. That will be an upgrade already. Alright, we got blue sockets on that, so that'll be nice. <clears throat> this, uh, opening pool, uh, this will make or break, um, groups. I've seen people quit on this one, so uh, let's uh, let's hope this goes good. Uh, what happens is these um, uh, spirit or soul priest, they summon They summon more, uh, so you can actually get uh, get a whole lot of uh, mobs on you before you even know it. So, <clears throat> but I've seen um, a decently equipped group uh, burn through this and. Like 10 or 15 minutes uh, at. <clears throat> but uh, I think from the, uh, the story or the quest, there's um, like the tinkering that the. Uh, um, the. The tinkering that the uh, ethereals have done and. Uh, Kill Jaden, or not kill Jaden. Um, oh gosh, I can't believe my mind is going so blank. Um, basically, it's caused a lot of the uh, these spirits to become um, restless. <clears throat> so Exarch Maladar, um, he's um. I think he's a, um, a Drana, uh, but like not, uh, not a good guy. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm not making any sense. <clears throat> Feel free to ignore me. <laughs> Once again, I forget to turn my TV down. Watching, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Not a great movie, uh, honestly. But. Crips is a pretty fun little dungeon. Um, it's got one boss in it that can really give people fits. Uh, and we're actually getting ready to... Uh, Run into him. Shirak the Dead Watcher. See, that's what happens when you run out in front of the tank.
Now, the thing with this guy is he uh, has a, an aura that he throws down that increases uh, cast time in Hemp and Magic. Uh, so it starts out at 50% and then it ramps up really, really fast. So we're at four stacks, 200%. That makes healing really hard. Uh, yeah. He drops a, a pretty nice fist weapon if you're doing an enhancement shaman. Um, I, I think he drops that on regular. It might just be uh, heroic. I can't remember. Oh no, my pet died. And again, another instance with no um, skinning uh, mob, so that's kind of sucky. <clears throat> Ooh. Like I said, uh, I think on uh, one of my previous videos, if you're um, in a dungeon and you're seeing plans drop like that that you can roll on, um, I mean, you can, you're can you the only one that can see them to roll on them um, is someone who's got that skill. So. So we're, we're definitely going to be uh, 65 shortly. Um, I think you have to be 68 to go into um, Northrend. So as soon as we get to uh, 68, we'll be heading there. Um, I think the leveling is a little bit slower there. Um, or at least it was the last time I leveled um, up there. Alright. Serve your penitence. So he uh, he splits off. Um, my fallen brothers, take form and fight. This is nice. Excellent. And once again, no upgrades. Fantastic. Ugh. <sighs> 
so what I usually do is I run back to the middle lady. Uh, I actually, go. Oh, yeah, I think that's still going to be quicker. <clears throat> no mobs respawn, so it's not a big deal. Oh, wait. Did I get all of these? Yeah, they're all ready to turn in. Yeah, we're gonna have to get. Uh, we're gonna have to start getting in uh, some upgrades before too long. Or um, Northrend is the first couple of quests in Northrend are gonna be very challenging. But I've done um, done a few odds and ends uh, off camera. Um, Let's see, uh, well, nothing that wise. I did uh, uh, flew out to um, uh, Tel uh, Temple of Telhamot and picked up some more quests. And when we get back, we'll be heading over to the uh, Pools of Agadar. Uh, and there's a uh, a couple of overlaps that you can do there, uh, quests that, uh, like, you kill the same mobs for two quests, so that's, that's real handy. <clears throat> well, maybe, maybe this wasn't such a shortcut after all. Oh, wait, maybe some of them do respawn. Oh, wait, she patrols. Ha-ha! Let's see if I can get up here without uh, getting myself killed. Interesting music. I, I honestly, I don't know if I've ever uh, listened to it. I hope you guys can pick that up. It's wrong. It's pretty cool. Uh, yep. Yeah. We'll take that, and we'll take that level. Excellent. So we'll grab some blue gems and stick in that, and. Um, uh, so we've unlocked Sethic Halls, which is, um, I've actually got, uh, Escape to Darnhold that we can do, and Sethic Halls, so that'll be fun. <clears throat> Alright. Got a few more quests to pick up. The Legion will fall. Uh, Scythe Claws. Now this is kind of a, a really sad little quest chain right here. Blessings upon you. Uh, Sedai and uh, Econ, which is Sedai's brother. Um, they were broken from, um, as in fallen, um, a Drani that got exposed to some, um, um, like demonic magic against their will. Um, all right, now that's where we're gonna go next, though, because there's a uh, a set of rare boots that would be a very good upgrade for us here. So that instance took what 15 minutes. If even that, um, probably a little shorter since I actually ran back, so. Yeah. Oh, somebody got the Veil Reaver. Yay! I can't believe we've done this whole zone and not really had an issue with the Veil Reaver yet. Come on. Well, 
Oh goodness, she must be the help that I requested from the Temple of Talhamot. Yep. Goodbye. Uh, gather six Hellbore blood samples. We can do that. Uh, Thornfang Ravagers and Venom Spitters. Uh, Raging Colossi. Uh, yeah, that's not an upgrade. Yeah, that, um, grabbing that, um, uh, Colfang Needler, very nice. Um, there was another quest, or a quest, um, Oh gosh, what's his name? Um, uh, Nexus Prince Shafar. He actually drops a pretty good bow. Um, pro I, I wouldn't mind getting that, uh, but like I said, we're going to be outgrowing it really quickly. He drops those, drops a good helm uh, and a ring. So I'm surprised we didn't get at least some of that. So, oh wow. Um, let's get these guys first. <clears throat> if we can find any. Oh. Uh, these guys used to be elites. Um, and this was uh, your first group quest. Excellent. Um, Crimson Crystal Shard. Um, as the Colossus falls under the weight of your attacks, you notice that for the first time it was holding a red crystal fragment. While it was small and unnoticeable in the Mountain Giant's hand, it is a fairly hefty piece for you to carry around. It also suspiciously looks like it's a piece of the giant crystal in the middle of the ridge. It's definitely a clue as to the strangeness that is occurring here. Yeah. So we're going to go turn that in before we kill any more. Um, I typically don't. I like to uh, complete the other stuff, but uh, we'll turn this one in because I, I definitely want the uh, reward from this chain. That's a big crystal you have there. Did you get that while you were, uh, while you were up at the ridge killing Colossi? Let's take a look at it. Uh, hmm, this looks like a big lump, lump of unrefined crystal to me. Admittedly, I can feel a sickly, evil aura emanating off of it, but that's not exactly in my line of work. I just put it, I'm just here to put an end to the mountain giant menace. All right. Uh, you should take the crystal uh, lump over to the earthbinder. She's just like you, always needing to get to the bottom of a mystery. If you ask me, she thinks a little too much. Uh, just give it to her and I'm sure she'll get you into a heap of trouble figuring out What's going up at the ridge? Yeah. All right. So before I turn this in, I'm going to go on and break the video here, and I will see you guys in just a moment.